Hello everybody, this is James. And I'm coming back with another video of a new knife by GEC Norfield on XL premium pocket knife. Um, 1095 carbon. It's a wonderful knife. It's got, well, I'll just open it and show you. How's that? Smooth white bone. This one just got released last week. And I was not going to buy it because it was expensive. And like most of my GEC knives, they come from my girlfriend. And since the Valentine's Day was coming up, I got this one. This is a Pemberton White Bone by Norfield. It's a pretty knife, ain't it? Highly polished nickel silver bolsters, brass liners, no gaps between the liners, no gaps between the bolsters and the scales, no gaps between the shield and the scales, brass pins, carbon steel, and it's highly polished. The laser etch is perfect and dark. It's a really nice knife. I wish it was stainless steel, so I wouldn't have to take care of it. But it's not, so. At least I'll be able to sharpen it. But this is like a, I believe it's like, it's a Pemberton, but it's a like a small Coke bottle-like design. And um, that's what it reminds me of, Coke bottle. You can see it. And I believe GEC is coming out with some Coke bottles soon. That will be uh, probably in a month or a couple weeks. It's going to be huge. It'll be like four and three quarters big, giant, basically giant versions of these. Except I'm sure they'll have like um, clip points. Dude, this is a worn cliff blade. I could be wrong, but this knife is about the size of a case peanut, which I'm about sure everybody is familiar with. But in case you're not, there's a case peanut. So, you get an idea. It's about the same size as a peanut. Except it's one blade instead of two. So, example. But yeah, smooth white bone. Which most of my GECs are smooth in one way or another. If they're bone, they're smooth white bone. Or they're smooth coca bola wood. This is a nice one. If you guys are into this, this is a perfect, or gals are into this, um, this is a perfect knife to put in your watch pocket. You know, the little pocket in your jeans, right above your big pocket on the right side, if you're not familiar with the term watch pocket. This, though, is a perfect knife. Really nice and thin. It's a lot, I believe it's about, it's thinner than the, than the, um, peanut, see? So, it's perfect. It's a perfect everyday uh -huh. carry knife. And this is something that you could pull out in the office to cut something, I don't know. And you wouldn't scare the people next to you. you know, like you wouldn't scare somebody <laughs> in the cubicle next to you like pulling out a big Kershaw with a five inch blade. Now, this blade is like two inches at the most. It's small and uh, it does the job. Fit and finish is always excellent. I mean, I haven't seen a GEC that isn't excellent. Uh, well, I take that back. I have. Um, but I didn't buy it. So I seen it. It wasn't mine. Everyone that I've ever bought, my GECs, have been perfect. And I have not buy, uh, bought them sight unseen. So, um, no, I have bought them sight unseen. Basically, I order them from a guy... Uh, in Ohio by um, I believe it's called traditionalpocketknives.com and uh, he was a queen dealer for a long time and he started selling GECs you know right before queen went away so uh, I'll put the link in the description below to uh, that guy's website um, fast shipping he doesn't charge shipping it's free shipping and he's in Ohio so he's close to me and uh 
Uh, he, if you guys are familiar, it's uh, C. Risner, I believe. Um, so, he's been around for years, since the 90s, I believe. Now, about my girlfriend bought this one for me for Valentine's Day, so she ordered it from him. Always asks him for a nice knife, fit and finish, and we usually get it that way. So. A nice one really polished you can see that reflection on the bone it's just it's excellent no gaps that's a deal breaker for me I hate gaps between the liners bolsters and springs can't stand it and I haven't seen the GEC that has that yet look how even this blade is for something better. Swedge. Swedge top. It's just wonderful. That's a nice thing about GC is you can honestly buy these sight unseen and know you're going to get a knife that's of decent fit and finish. Pool is light. I say the pool is light because it's a small knife. You kind of don't want a gigantic, you know, prying it open and it's so small be uncomfortable so for this knife the pool is perfect um, I wouldn't know how to rate it 1 through 10 or 1 through 5 it's good it fits the knife it fits the profile and the size perfectly so basically you wouldn't say this is heavy it's definitely not light it has half stops though which is good everybody likes half stops and it's one extra thing that GEC always usually puts in their knives that are very welcomed let's put it that way so, but this is the Northfield version. They have a Tidio version, which is, I've seen Blue Bone and Micarta. Um, and uh, Micarta is pretty nice. Like, with this knife, I wouldn't want to carry it because it is like an $85 knife, I believe. And it's so highly polished, I would probably want to carry the Tidio, which is satin finish. And um, not as expensive, you know. I think they're like 70 bucks. So for 70 bucks, you can, you know, it's a little bit cheaper. And like I said, this is about the same size as a case peanut. I mean, literally, it's just, it's thinner. So if you guys are seeing these online, they're a little bit smaller. And uh, they're perfect for like your everyday carry pocket knife, like a backup or something, or, you know, like I said, put it in your watch pocket. Take this thing anywhere you want to go, and you can pull it out anywhere you want without the threat of scaring somebody, because it is small. Very nice. The polish is amazing. And of course, like I said, the Tidio ones are less polished. Um, and you don't, you, you, you save money by buying the less polished one. And then you can also use it without having the feeling of, you know, you're destroying a super, super nice knife. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this uh, video and this uh, GEC Pemberton. Um, if you like this video, like it and subscribe, leave a comment below. I try to reply to them as much as I can. Um, I'm probably going to change the name to the channel because, eh, I'm just going to change it. I'm on Instagram right now as Slip Joints, I think. And so you can finally follow me on Instagram as well. And like I said, sometimes I sell knives. I don't sell GECs. Um, I would like to, but I don't. Um, but, uh. I'll put links and stuff in the description. Sometimes on eBay, I usually uh, get some knives for sale and I'll throw them on there. But usually, most for, for the most part, just showcasing them. So.
Beautiful white bone, smooth white bone, and it is. It's perfect. Perfect knife. All right, guys and gals. I'll talk to you later.